Welcome, McVeigh Dragons. This is Mr. Thornley's class, volume number eight, and this is for fourth grade. Um, last time we had class, I asked you to listen to the, a recording of me playing You've Got a Friend in Me on the piano. And I asked you to uh, listen to it and tell me if you what you heard. Did you hear chords or an ostinato on piano or both? Or listen for anything else you might have heard. So uh, that was your assignment for last time. This time, today we'll break that, that song down as far as what I played. Um, but first of all, our main focus is harmony. And if I have a melody without any um, harmony being played, just a melody being sung or played, it didn't matter, doesn't matter how many people are playing or singing the melody, but if we have one that's being sung and that's it, that's monophonic texture. If we add chords or an ostinato or both, that would be with the melody, that's homophonic texture. All right, so that's our main focus right now, harmony. Um, to figure out how a chord is made, okay? We'll start with a C chord. If I have a C chord, C is gonna be the first note of the chord. I'll skip D, go to E, skip F, go to G. So a C chord's got a first, a third, and a fifth. A C, an E, and a G. So if I go to a C chord, uh, there's a C chord, it's a C, E, and G. Another C, another C chord, another C chord. I could do a, a C chord this way. Your C chord's all over. You know, um, if I do it, the notes individually, messed up there. This is called an arpeggio. My chorus people know about arpeggios. It's one note of the chord at a time. We practice singing them. Um, but anyway, uh, chords. Uh, say so it's G chord. We worked on this. This is a review because last week I had my uh, Fender Stratocaster. I went over this. G chord uh, G would be G. Musical alphabet goes A through G and starts over. We'll skip the A, go to B, skip C, and go to D. G, B, and D. So I go to G chord. It's all G's, B's, and D's. Okay. G chord. All right, now, if, um, we also talked about ostinato patterns. That's a pattern made of a couple notes that repeats. And the one I went over, I did quite a bit, was this one. Very simple one. You can have variations of that. Whatever. And there's a lot of other ostinato patterns. That's just a simple one that I talked about. And, in fact, you might hear that in the song I'm going to do today, which brings me to... You've got a friend in me. It starts off with an A section, which would be, uh, you think it's an introduction, but introductions don't usually come back over again if it's just an introduction. If it's a real section, it'll keep coming back. So the A section does keep coming back, and it's like this. And it has this. Okay. So that introduction is uh, got a lot of little things in it. For one thing, it's got what's called stride piano. Stride is when you do a bass note down here and you play a chord up high. Boom, chunk, and play a chord. It had that in there. And then also playing chords on my right hand with some little scale things. And uh, kind of, well, mainly the chords, chord tones. Um, on that, later on, it will have some scale things here. Well, actually, it does start off with a little scale thing. It is a off a chord, and it has a, like a blues thing. Blue, what's called a blues note, right there. So it's got some scale things in it too. So, um, but that was mainly chords with a few little notes extra there. Uh, and it was stride piano, which has a really cool sound. Um, and anyway, that's the A section. And then it goes to the B section. The B section, you hear this. Let's see. All right, so it has this like boom, boom. Okay, this bass pattern is used in a lot of songs. It's an ostinato pattern. And on top of that, we had some uh, chords and some little scale things. I actually include the melody in there. And then you have this little thing goes, let's say, that bum bum bum. That's a little, what's called a fill. Uh, in music. Pop music, they call that a fill. 
uh, you might have guitars doing fills in between sing vocal lines playing singing melodies uh, and it was a little fill that's put in there and then you heard this a walk what's called a walking bass it's part of the part of the scale in the any e flat uh, so little bass thing it's off the scale so this has a combination of a lot of things it has osnato patterns it has chords I even include the melody in there as part of the on, on the chords and then you have these little bass runs all oh, that are off the scales okay and uh, you know our scales because when we go we go do re mi fa sol ti do that's a scale and uh, we practice listening for steps these repeated notes we went through the steps of the scale so it's got a lot involved and by mixing up these things, the ostinato patterns, the, and having the chords in there, and then I included the melody as I, well, I was I was singing the melody or humming, I think I did just now, but I also was playing it within the chords. Um, it asked for a really interesting song, and that's what music's about. So uh, it does that. It goes the A section, that instrumental part, you know, bum, 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 that part. Then it does the uh, B section. Oh, All right, that's that's the uh, B section, the verse section, and this way it's kind of like morning is broken because it had an instrumental A section too, and then it went to the B section, and then <clears throat> all right, then it's going to go to A again, B again, and then it goes to the little change up. It goes to a C section. And you're going to hear in that C section uh, this pattern again, just at a different chord. Set it down here. You're going to hear it up here. Uh, let's see. Uh, starts off, goes into. Uh, let's see. Hold on a second. My screen saver will come on. Then it goes uh, the part where it goes. Some of the folks will have some of the folks might be a little bit smarter, smarter than I am, like that. So you got this chord here. Smooth. I'm doing that little ostinato pattern with the chord. Some of the folks a little bit smarter than I am. Change chords with the same pattern. Then it goes, bum, bum, bum. Those are the same two chords, just quickly done. And then it goes, see, uh, let me see. Some of the folks a little bit smarter. Back to the D chord, a da da ba ba da ba ba D seventh chord, and it goes. Oh, that was good, man. Uh, I'm trying to think. Just different chords changing into using the same pattern back into the uh, B section. That part. Okay? And then, it, and after it does that, then it ends with the A section again. And ends the song. Okay? So the form is A, B, A, uh, B, C, B, A. It really would be A, B, A instead of that one spot. It has a C, which would normally be an A. There's a little change up. So that's kind of interesting song. And uh, <clears throat> and it has, like I said, it uses chords, ostinato patterns, and little <clears throat> scale things, little fill patterns of made up of scales, uh, both with a bass line, walking bass, and, and uh, also with my right hand. I'm facing you, so this is my right, this is my left. And, you know... If I turned around, this is my left, this is my right, okay? So, uh, <clears throat> anyway, so it has a lot going on. Um, I'm going to do, we're not going to do a new song this week. We're going to work on <clears throat> uh, listening for some more ostinato patterns and some uh, chord things. So, is this, I'm going to play something. Is this chords or ostinato?
messed up there. Sorry. All right. What is that? That is ostinato pattern, right? Now I started on <coughs> start. <coughs> excuse me. I started on C. Later on, I took the pattern up and started on F note, same pattern, and then went back to C again. Then I went to the pattern up to G, starting on G note, same pattern on F, back to C. Okay, so that would be an ostinato pattern. I can add chords with my other hand, and I can add a little blues notes to slide into the C chord here, like this. Let's see. See that? Now change it to F. Back to C. Now I'm gonna go. Oh, my computer's getting ready to goes to screensaver out a little, a little bit, and I want I like to be able to see into my computer if I can. Then it goes, and then back to F. Went to G to F to C. Okay, so. You can put them together and it sounds nice, it sounds really good. But that was an ostinato pattern with my left hand and my right hand was doing uh, chords with a little blues note thrown in there. Uh, there's a scale called a blue scale, which I'm not going to get into right now, but uh, as far as showing you how to do it, but the blue scale does make things sound bluesy, okay? Um, here's another thing. Um, and I could do, do a sing a melody over top of that. I could also do... Uh, like you have lead guitar, you, when when you have a rhythm section going on in a rock band, you might have lead guitar going on. Do the same thing. Here's like an ostinato pattern. All right, now this hand I'm gonna do a little scale, little scale stuff here, a little jam. So you can do a lot of, over top of that ostinato pattern, which gives a nice rhythmic feel, all kinds of scale stuff I did, okay? So, all right, so our main focus is harmony, how important that uh, chords, ostinato patterns are to music to create a nice harmony. And then you have things called fills too, you can throw in, or scale, what's called scalar type runs, uh, scale runs. So mixing all that together makes for an interesting song. Okay, and but right now we're focusing <coughs> focusing focusing on listening for the uh, chords and the ostinato patterns with a melody, homophonic texture. Uh, maybe next week we might start polyphonic texture. Polyphonics when you have more than one melody in the same song, each melody creates harmony for the other melody. Okay, each each melody creates harmony. They're at the same time, so they're but they're blending. All right, that's polyphonic texture. And we'll talk about that. There's three ways we're going to uh, talk about as far as polyphonic texture, how to make it. Um, so for right now, uh, be safe. Practice social distancing. Be kind to your parents. Be helpful around the house. All right. Help with the yard work, et cetera, like that. And always do your McVeigh best. Okay. Until next time, keep up with our videos. Bye-bye.